we've been traveling with our kids for the last 18 years. Our eldest is off to Italy next year. Um, we've instilled the travel bug in her a lot. Our youngest is 15 and still has a little bit to go. So when she graduates school, that's our time. That's it. Then we are going to take off and travel for as long or as little as we like. We uh, don't plan on selling up like some people do. We're going to maintain our house in Australia because obviously hopefully our kids or some one of our kids will still be in Australia and we have family so that means we'll be able to come and go as we like. Mm -hmm. It's important for us to also have a, a home base like if the girls are struggling or if they're finding it hard to travel and just need that connection to home then the house will always be there. And as we said before uh, we've been sort of blogging on and off for the last eight to eight years or so you know nothing seriously so in the next three years I guess in preparation for taking off as what they call digital nomads I guess uh, we're gonna ramp up our activities on the blog and try and monetize really hardly so we can make an income and a living that will afford us the lifestyle we want and in saying that though we're working we don't have high-paying corporate jobs Mark has two jobs I have one I work four days a week Mark works four to six days a week um, we prioritize travel it's not easily done for everybody this is not a lifestyle for everyone um, but we're really trying our best to mm. live on a budget and live probably yep. well under our means to be able to fund this because at the same time a lot of digital nomads rely on people watching their videos and people buying from their website and what happens if that doesn't happen and we want to be prepared for that yep. as well so we're building a solid base over the next three years. Uh, so if it doesn't work, we can still come home and find jobs and still have money. But the plan is, like we said, in the next three years to lay the foundation for us to be able to work anywhere around the world at any time. Just need a laptop and a computer and off we'll go. But at the same time, I want to show you that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. We did 14 months travel with our daughters. Um, homeschooling was really hard. Uh, we struggled with that and we came home after 14 months. Uh, they wanted to come back to a curriculum based education. And that was something that our blog funded a little bit of, but yeah. mainly our savings. And we find a lot of stories of people saying, you know, in six weeks time, I'm gonna leave to travel the world. But how do you do that? If you have to rely on a blog, this is our three year plan. That's we're not it. doing it quickly, we're not doing it easily, and it is going to be tough. And that's why we are saving for the next three years to have a solid base. And at the moment, you'll, we're sitting here in the Polynesian Spa in Rotorua in New Zealand, and this is actually the first international trip we've taken without our teenagers, so we thought this would be a good chance to introduce the We Travel Alone channel to everyone. Um, look, there won't be a lot of videos weekly or anything at this stage. We'll just make some videos as we go along and obviously it'll ramp up more in the 12 months preceding when we plan to leave, which at this stage will be sometime in around January of 2027. But in the meantime, we'll keep you engaged with what we're doing maybe give you some How blogging tips yeah. things like that that if you want to join in the journey or you want to try and do this yourself like we're gonna we're gonna help you as much as possible That's and show it, it how we do it because we're all about building a community of travelers who want to live this sort of lifestyle i guess and not be stuck working nine to five thinking that there's more to life than than your job so and at the same time like we're going to show you how we've done it and how you can do it but you might find it's not for you either and it might not be for a, an indefinite amount of time you might sit and say okay I want to just do this for 12 months or I want to do it just with two months um, or two years you know it, we're just going to show you how we've done it yeah you know there's like a lot of work that goes into it literally you know I work uh, near on 85 hours a fortnight at my real jobs and on top of that I probably put in another 30 hours a fortnight at least working on the website creating content uh, monitorizing content <laughs> uh, all the things that we need in order to leave in three years time so that's sort of our initial story and we hope you follow along on our tiktok channel and our website 
our website. No Instagram at this stage, unless Rebecca here cares to make an Instagram for We, we Travel Alone. We get the Alone. occasional reel out, but hang on. No, the reels are all on TikTok, not on Instagram, so... Okay. Well, so maybe there is an Instagram coming. Um, maybe there is an Instagram. I'll leave you to send a message and tell Beck whether you want an Instagram channel to come along. So, oh, yeah. so at this stage, uh, thanks for tuning in. And Hang on. is it actually our first overseas trip? Do you count going from Wales to Scotland while the girls were in England? Oh well, they were technically in the same country. There was no, I guess, water separating us. We didn't have to catch a plane. And technically, oh, my auntie. Your sister. My sister, their auntie, was yeah. looking after them, was in the country at the yeah. same time. So technically, I guess, not our first international trip without them, but our first mm. international trip... On a plane. On a plane, away from them, I yes. guess. So yeah. so with many more to come, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But from now, we're uh, in Rotorua, like I said. It's in November of 2023. We've got a family trip coming up to Bali in January of 2024. Which you can follow on Wild Family Travel. Yes, so yeah, our other channels, as we mentioned earlier, Wild Family Travel is the main one. That's the main monetarised channel that we use, but we have upcoming channels about Bali, Poland, and Victoria, Australia. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we will definitely be back with more YouTube videos, more content on the Facebook page for We Travel Alone and on the website. So but if you want to ask any questions, pop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Bye, Bye. from Rotorua. <laughs>